What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to save the blobs in order to be able to downgrade in the future and of course jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program created by iMobi which allows you to repair your iOS system and of course it allows you to repair iTunes errors and stuff like that. It supports a lot of iPad, iPod Touch and iPhone errors. Check it out in the link below. Now as you probably know the iOS 13.6.1 has been released and of course 13.6 is no longer signed. Now the difference between 13.6 and 13.6.1 is basically nothing in terms of security and of course if you're interested in jailbreaking there is no real problem between 13.6 and 13.6.1 because the security content published by Apple is basically nothing. So yeah while iOS 13.6.1 does have some differences compared to 13.6 on the feature side or bug fixes it doesn't have any security fixes. So no bugs that can be used for a jailbreak were patched in 13.6.1 compared to 13.6 but it's still very good to save your blobs right now for 13.6.1 because there's already an exploit available for 13.6.1. This developer posted quote iOS 13.6.1 iPhone 11 Pro Max using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of the TFP0 method. I'll make it public when it's appropriate hashtag jailbreak and he does show me here how he jailbreaks his device on 13.6.1 with his application in there. So this is actually quite cool. Now of course in this case you would definitely want to have the blobs for 13.6.1 to be able to downgrade in the future using future restore or other such tools. So how do you do that? Well if you have an older device for example an iPhone 10, an iPhone 8, 7 plus and so on you would definitely be able to use TSS saver in here normally just with your ACID. However if you have an iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro you will need a different video for this and I will make a video for the 8, 12 and 8, 13 devices in the very near future. So this video is for devices that are not A12 or A13. For all the other devices that are not the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 11 or 11 Pro, you just need to connect the phone to the computer and open iTunes. You press a little device in there and of course you go here and you see the serial number, you press on it, you press twice and you're going to get the ACID. Right click on it and copy and you will be able to basically get the ACID and the blobs for that ACID. Now as you can see I have an update for 13.6.1, however this device is running 13.6.1 point three so I can jailbreak so with this method you don't need to update your device to save the blobs so we're going to paste the ACID here on this website tssaver.onecanon.com and very important you have to select the proper device in here if you paste your ACID correctly but you select a different device the blob that results will not be valid you won't be able to use it for downgrade with future restore so I'm going to select iPod in my case and the iPod 7 generation all right so after you complete the captcha in there you press submit and it's probably going to take a couple of seconds but then it will get generated in there and as you can see you got a link you press on the link and at this point you should have all your blobs which in my case are only 13.3 so I press in here and as you can see we got a couple of folders including the no app nonce and this is basically your universal blob now if you want to check if that blob is valid you can actually go here to blob checker and of course you have to upload that blob I'm going to press in here and of course you have to select the device but it automatically detected it so as you can see I'm going to press I'm not a robot in here and press submit and it should say that it's valid. So yeah as you can see here it gives me the details but it says SHSH2 is valid and with this device and this is the app nonce, SEP nonce, the generator that you have to set in the application before you downgrade and of course the type it's erase 13.3 custom erase installed. So this would definitely be a valid blob that I can use for downgrade with this future restoring here. By the way I do have a tutorial available for future restore if you want to check it out on the channel. So yeah that's basically it that's what you need to do the TSS saver works pretty well and you can even check the blobs that result. However, this method would not work out of the box for the A12 and A13 devices. For those devices, I'm going to make a different video because you need to do some additional things. By the way, if you want to learn more about the blobs and what the format behind them is, and of course other things like what they are used for and stuff like that, there is a very good Wikipedia page in here about SHSH blobs. Link will be in the description down below and this is actually quite big and quite good. It explains very well what Apple uses this blob for and of course why they interfere with the downgrade but I would definitely save my blobs especially because of this exploit in here that will probably be released when 13.6.1 is no longer signed because this exploit is for 13.6.1 which means that if he releases right now that would be releasing zero day so very likely he will release after 13.6.1 is no longer signed and once that's released we might be able to use it in uncover so definitely save your blobs thank you for watching I am Gio Snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out out.